What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the EAM Crypto channel. And uh, we're just going to get right into the charts. Not so much um, a day of news or newsworthy events or that sort of thing. It's just been all about the price action, all about the price action. So uh, let's start kind of like from a higher time frame and then work our, our way down to uh, a number of things that I want to talk about. We're going to talk about all these crazy alts. I know some really interesting things with some of the metaverse and gaming tokens that I definitely want to cover. Uh, so let's just, but before all that, let's jump into Bitcoin because it's the chart that rules them all. Whatever Bitcoin does, everyone else is going to follow to a certain level. So let's uh, check it out. So BTC on the monthly. Yeah, really easy to get super excited about this green right here. But look, guys, as far as in the monthly, nothing's changing yet, right? You can't really change your thesis if you're expecting about 138-ish, 13,800 uh, from what's happened the last few days. I mean, my guess is we're just going to paint a lower high and then just roll over and head right back down to 13K, 13, uh, 13,800, and then we'll see. And then we'll probably bounce off that. Um, I'm going to have a ton of buy orders at around those levels. Um, maybe it doesn't get to 13.8. It only gets to like 14 or, you know, 14.1 or 13.9. So I think it's important to have buy orders and all those in case it's a wick while we're all sleeping. But um, so nothing changes there. If you then slide over to the, um, to the uh, what is this, the weekly, that's where things um, maybe are looking a lot more interesting, but in some ways exactly what we expected, right? We've been talking about this for weeks, literally for weeks now, uh, that 17,258 was going to be the next level of resistance. And they're sure enough, that's kind of like where it's kind of, you know, petered off for now. So we'll see what happens. Again, I didn't think it was a huge level of resistance, but we just kind of knew that that was the next big level of resistance. And sure enough, 17,189 is where we're at right now. And uh, kind of topped off at what, 17,400, strong rejection at 17,400. And uh, that's where we are now. So I am expecting for it to reclaim, um, get over that 17,258 uh, number in time. Uh, maybe as early as tomorrow and just keep the uh, momentum driving as we go towards this trend line from way back when. And when we hit this trend line, it all depends when we hit it. Uh, I guess maybe we can then go into the, uh, let's go into the daily. It'll be easier to see it there. But if we look at it here from the daily, um, you know, it's hard to say which day we'll hit this. I seriously doubt, doubt that we will pump tomorrow to this trend line. Uh, so it'll probably be a couple days is my guess, at least, because I'm expecting some sideways and down before up. And then, you know, let's just say that we hit it, um, I don't know, let's just say Friday. That would be Friday the 13th. Hey, Friday the 13th, that would make sense. And let's see what happens when we hit it. But that would be around 18,124. So that kind of makes a lot of sense, right? Uh, kind of like that 18,000-ish range. I think it would make even more sense if it hits... Um, <clears throat> during the week than on the weekend because then you know the weekend action doesn't really count as far as the cme charts uh go so let's just assume that maybe i'll hit 18 one on the uh this week on friday if things that's not that big of a move it's less than a 1k move it's less than a five percent move so let's see what happens but i think that's going to be really interesting let's see if it bounces off if, if, if we kind of <clears throat> make this kind of easier to see you'll see that every time we've hit this trend line we reject it and harshly right I mean, this time we rejected and then tested again right away. Um, so I would expect the first time for it to reject. And then the next time it hits that trend line, maybe that'll be the time it crosses it. And if it does, things get really, really spicy, really, really interesting. I mean, there's really nothing until, I mean, really until the psychological level of 20K, if we can get over this trend line. So um, do expect, do expect if you see Bitcoin crossing this trend line on the daily or in the four hour, I guess, um, and then maybe it does like a little retest. If that works, it's just going to skyrocket a few. I mean, you could see one of those melt facing candles, right? Like a 1K candle like that. That's that's when it happens. So that is something to uh, look out for uh, with BTC. All right, guys. So it seems like this mini alt season happened and it all got kick started last Friday by that silly tweet by Vitalik about Seoul. Ever since he made that tweet about Solana, boom. Solana went nuts and all these all coins have basically followed suit. And I wanted to talk about what's happening with some of these metaverse gaming tokens because um, I noticed something really, really interesting. So um, I noticed that the tokens that you can leverage um, on some of the bigger sites, for example, I do all my trading on BitGet, just FYI, 
Uh, the link is in the video description. It, that's where I short crypto. That's where I leverage trade. And it really helps my channel out a whole lot if you use that link for all your trading. And uh, you'll get some cool rewards if you use my link, which are all listed on the link. So, um, and they have proof of reserves. Not all the exchanges do. So definitely use BitGet if you're going to leverage trade. Uh, but anyways, I did notice that all the biggest action was with those types of tokens with gaming with metaverse that can be leveraged yes it happened with like the l1s obviously solana near also went nuts but i did notice that if a token that is not a token that can be leveraged traded um, with metaverse and gaming did not do as well even if it's a big name so for example you guys have heard me talk about ufo before right well let me show you what i mean so with a token like ufo it didn't go nuts at all. Even though it has crazy hype and has a good following, good community, all that good stuff. Why? You go to markets and you go here to perpetual or futures, no data, no data. So UFO cannot be leverage traded. But then if you look at the tokens that can be leverage traded, even if it's one that doesn't have as big of a name, Engine is probably a good example. So we'll go with Lent Engine. Just so happens it was there. Markets, perpetual or futures, and then boom, you have all these options. So for example, on BitGet, on BitGet, you can do that. You can trade um, a, a token like that. So if I open up here with BitGet, um, you can see very clearly, if you go up here, that Engine can be leverage traded, right? There you go. Or Sand or Gala. And all of these, Mana, all of these kind of went nuts, lost their minds, all that good stuff. But a token like, for example, UFO and many others that I cover on this channel, uh, Vulcan, uh, I think it's PYR is the name of it, and a lot of the other metaverse tokens, even though they're amazing projects and I think they're going to do amazingly well during the next bull run, they didn't really run. So it was all about the leverage, even though the funding rate is at crazy low levels right now. So, uh, which is really, guys, why this, this uh, run has happened more than anything. Yes, it's because things got a little crazy and wild. Some people saw value, but at the end of the day, leverage is going to take a, leverage is taking a big part in this inorganic kind of alt season we're seeing. So, what does that tell you? As soon as that funding rate gets too high, you're going to see the big uh, liquidation crash, and all these longs are going to get screwed. So, um, this is not going to last. It's just a matter of, like I said earlier, how long Bitcoin can run. And I think Bitcoin can definitely run to at least 18k. Uh, and then we'll see. We'll see if it can cross that trend line. If it can, it's running at 20K, guys. Um, and, and there we'll see what happens, right? But <clears throat> what I'm trying to get at is that if you look at this crazy action from Gala, um, you formed a high and now formed a lower high. This is looking very bearish now. Uh, let's look at the indicators. Yeah, it's starting to look bearish. But wouldn't shock me if it made another run. Um, Gala, if you were to start down here at you know close to two cents and let's just say that you put in 1k and you decided to leverage trade at 10x if you wrote that all the way up here that eight you know zero 1.8 cents all the way up here to almost five cents you your your, your 10k turned into 30k almost just think about that just think about that 1k into 30k in literally a couple of days um, let's just say what it was the sixth and today was today's the ninth. So in three days, you could have turned 1K into 30K. I didn't, but it's just something to think about. Something to think about, guys, as you kind of plan, you know, to see how much money you want to try to make off these markets and off the craziness. Um, so it's just something to consider in the next bull run. Just think about that kind of thing. Think, th put your mind at that kind of thinking where you're trying to maximize the craziness. Look, Gala, I know they had some cool announcements, whatever. But look, let's break it down. Let's look at it. This is overvalued speculation. This is nonsense. Here, let's see what the uh, market cap is. <laughs> yeah, right. One point, almost one point six billion dollar market cap. Guys, I bet you my small little business makes more money. Not not my YouTube business, but my real life business. I bet you makes more money than they make in the revenue. It would not shock me. Um, 1.6 billion is a freaking joke. Okay. So this is not, this is just clown market stuff, but just because it's clown market stuff doesn't mean you shouldn't try to take advantage of it, profit from it. So whether it's, you know, when, when things are looking like they're going to die down, you want to short or when things get really crazy again, as far as the lows, 
start accumulating these types of projects because they're going to go crazy. But I would, I, my plan is to do it with some leverage, not a lot, 5 to 10x, uh, but just some, okay? Because of the fact that I think that that's how you can make a ton of money quickly. Just think about the example I just gave. 1K turned into 30K if you would have done that with Gala. Let's look at another one. Let's look at Sand, which this one's really ridiculous. Oh, we can take that out. It's out of the channel. Um, think about this one. This one really illustrates what a joke some of this is that's, that's going on right now. Sand is about to have a huge token unlock in 22, 37 days, or maybe 36 days. Uh, I'm not sure if they're like, you know, European time or whatever. So basically, let's just say five weeks. We're five weeks away from a token unlock that it's going to increase the circulating supply by, I believe, 35%. <laughs> this should be dumping. This should be dumping. Look, that, this one's dumping too now. But look, this, I don't know. We'll see what happens. This is the one hour. Look at it dumping as it should. It's amazing how some of these always seem to dump when I'm filming. Um, but the point I'm trying to make is that, again, this is another amazing illustration of how this hype that you're seeing and this price action that you're seeing is not based on anything but just clown market stuff and that should give you know a certain um you know just a certain feel in your head of how you plan to to move forward with the next bull run because that's what we're all doing right we're trying to set ourselves up for the bull run i feel like what's happening the last two days is like a test uh, uh you know like a test run and I'm just really curious to see what's going to happen here with sand because if it doesn't hold here, uh, we could be dropping quite a bit really, really fast. Um, there could be like a 10% drop really fast. Is Bitcoin dumping right now? Is that what's going on? Not here. Let's look at Ethereum. No, I mean a little bit, but nothing major. Um, Ethereum is finally starting to look bearish for the first time. Momentum on the four hours finally starting to... Uh, lessen a little bit but anyways I, I guess i'm digressing but i want to give another example of how you can take advantage of the silliness so uh in discord today i got in there for a little bit been super busy professionally so i haven't really been able to uh um be as active as i like but i did get in there and i said lunzi's about to pump lunz is about to pump and i think i put that in discord either in this one hour candle right here or this one and look what it did the next two candles you could just kind of tell it was about to pump. So even though I've been making fun of this asset more than anything, I was like, got to take a long here. Um, and look, it's giving it all back, all back. Freaking hilarious. Um, I mean, it really did give it all back. Amazing. But again, you could just kind of tell from the way that the volume is starting to increase. You see the candle starting to go like this, kind of flicker up and down. I was like, this thing's about to pump. And sure enough, like a few minutes later, it went nuts. It went absolutely nuts. And went up almost 20% in the span of less than two hours. So, um, again, guys, just something to keep in mind. And then Solana, again, I mean, this has been insane to watch. Incredible what that Vitalik tweet did. Um, it's really starting to give back a lot of those gains. But it, it's shocked me. Um, I did not think that Solana was going to get over this trend line anytime soon. Blew right past it and then some. Um, and it just, you know, again, for those that decided to go into Solana um, down here, um, they're looking at, again, about a 2.5x. So say they did 10x leverage, that's a 25x, guys, 25x. Um, I mean, you could really make some crazy money fast if you play these right. And uh, so, yeah, so that's, uh, that's kind of like what I, what I wanted to cover, guys, that, you know, just try to think about that. I'm not saying that don't invest in projects, uh, especially with some of these crazy coins that seem to go up the most, um, like Vulcan. I'm not saying don't invest in these, but look, it's down. I mean, it's actually down, and it's because you can't trade it on leverage. And, and you see, you can't trade it on leverage. And um, so that seems to be kind of like where the action's at. So people are going for that quick, fast money. Retail's getting into it. Of course, the big guys are getting into it and they're manipulating the market. And um, it's just really interesting to see this all play out. So we'll keep an eye on that, see how that goes, but just something to keep in mind. Um, if things uh, start getting hot again and you see all these tokens, um, you know, kind of look kind of like, like they want to just jump and go nuts, um, just keep in mind that you're going to have a lot more profits with the ones that can be leveraged. So, all right, guys. So I think that's it for now. I didn't want to make this video too long. Thanks for watching.